Hi, in this video we're going to have a look at how to edit the experience editor buttons. What I mean by that is, for example, if we have something like this, which is a call to action, and I want to be able to edit that background image. As you can see, because it's a background image, it's not really selectable from here. So I want it to be able to be editable using the edit image properties as you can see here. So I added this button, this experience editor button here, so that you can edit the image. I did the same thing in this one where it's a carousel which has a background image again so you have here the ability to add new sections to edit or move the sections or the slides for this uh, carousel as well as edit the background image for it here and that's the background image and that's the thumbnail that you see at the bottom here so let's see how we can do that I'll start off with the easy one, which is this one, which is just adding an image button like that. So all you need to do is actually go to your renderings. So we go into layouts, renderings, and then go to your rendering itself. And from here, if you go to the bottom, here it is. You can see something called experience editor buttons. And from that, you can just add the edit image button. By default, this will read fields that are called image. If your field is named differently, you're gonna have to do something else. As well as if you have other capabilities that you wanna provide, like adding slides as well as the image, like in this scenario, you're gonna have to do something else, which is to actually change the whole experience itself of the button or create a new uh, experience editor button or edit frame. So let's see how we did this one. So the first step is within your CSS HTML, when you're doing the begin edit frame, you need to give it a new name here. So I've given it DXP slide. Then we'll go to the core database. So as you can see here, I've opened up my core database and then we'll go into content applications, web edit, and then you're gonna see something called edit frame buttons. Within that, all I'll do is I'll just copy or clone one of the existing uh, items. So what I did was I actually used the linked list. So you can see it has inter sibling, delete, move up, move down, and so on, readily available. And then I added the edit image. The edit image, either you can copy it from the existing edit image or you can create it. All you need to do is just create one uh, from the template field editor button. The next step is you actually need to choose the fields that this button would be able to edit. So in our scenario here, we have image caption, target URL, image, external image, link. These were the default of the edit image. And then I added background image and thumbnail image as other fields that should be seen here. And this will enable us to be able to edit the image directly from here. As you can see here, I'm able to go in and just edit it. And this is really important. I know this is not SXA specific, but I see a lot of people don't do that within their SXA implementation, which really makes it much harder for your editor to utilize the experience editor and the WYSIWYG interface. Thanks for watching.